Welcome to Citizen CTV. Today's video is 15 stars who say they've lived in real haunted houses. Jenny Slate. Jenny Slate says that living in a haunted house basically shaped her entire personality. Slate opened up about living in a haunted house in her Netflix stand-up comedy special, Stage Fright, but first talked about the experience on Ellen in 2014. She told DeGeneres, I grew up in Massachusetts. I grew up in a genuine haunted house. I knew it was haunted. My parents, when they moved in, they bought it with all the furniture in it. The people had died, and I'm getting scared even telling the story. Then, she recounted how her parents pulled up the runner on the stairs, only to find a stack of old letters that had been hidden there. The letters were from a man who was not the previous owner's husband, but a sea captain. Slate said that her father ended up actually seeing the seat captain's ghost. My dad went out into the hall, and he looked onto the stairs, and standing there was the sea captain, looking at him, pleading. Eventually, the family burned the letters, and the sea captain never returned though, they did continue to see other apparitions. Jennifer Aniston, when she first moved to Los Angeles, Aniston rented an apartment that came with a ghost who just so happened to hate her roommate. All of the sudden things started to happen, the dishwasher would start to go, and the coffee maker would start to go, or the stereo would just turn on at full volume. And it was terrifying, the morning show actress said on the Late Late Show with James Corden. Following the advice of a friend, Aniston had someone come to clear the house. They had frankincense and they put it in a little dish and sort of started saying all these things. And the first corner that she went to, the dish cracked, she recalled. When we got to the really thick, 1975 ashtray that was sitting on the table and then the cracked and she asked me to leave then I, really believed it. She had to have a talking to, with the ghost. The ghost expert was able to pinpoint the problem after chatting with the spirit. The ghost, hated my roommate, Aniston said. I moved out. I feel terrible, but I couldn't say, it doesn't like you. I mean, that would be terrible. Chris, Kendall, and Kylie Jenner. The supermodel revealed in a Halloween-themed 2018 Vogue video that she and her younger sister had some creepy experiences in their mom's house. I do believe in ghosts. I don't know if I've ever seen one, but I've experienced some pretty creepy situations. She said, in the house my mom lives in, Kylie and I would always hear footsteps on the roof while no one was home. Kylie's shower used to turn on all the time and we never knew why. So yeah, I'm convinced it was a ghost. Matthew McConaughey, during an interview about his 2009 movie Ghosts of Girlfriends, Past, the actor told the tale of Madame Blue the not-so-friendly spirit who lived in his Hollywood home. I was not even under the influence and she was there, he recalled. She wasn't that happy, it didn't seem like she was going to be much fun to hang around or have in my house, so I went ahead and stood my ground. I opened the door and said, you can move around all you want but I'm not going anywhere. For weeks everyone that came to the house said the same thing, there's someone down in the hall. Ellen DeGeneres, I have seen, a ghost. It's weird, DeGeneres said while interviewing Melissa McCarthy on her talk show. It's a very strange thing, I didn't see anything that disturbed me. And then my mother saw the same thing. I lived in that house and then I moved, because when I saw the ghost, I moved out and I put her in it. And then she saw the ghost as well. It was a man that was in, like, turn of the century clothes and a hat and a three-piece suit. Miley Cyrus, the singer and her family had a terrifying time staying at a haunted rental apartment in London. I was having really crazy dreams and really scary things, and one night my little sister, it sounds crazy to tell you, but she was standing in the shower and all of a sudden I hear her scream. I run in there, and the water had somehow flipped to hot. It wasn't like the water had just changed, the dial had turned but she hadn't turned it and it was burning her. She was really red. Cyrus told LUK. Before I felt this, I thought I had seen a little boy sitting on the sink, watching me take a shower so I felt really freaked out. The star added that her mom, aunt, 
and now ex Liam Hemsworth Ball had crazy experiences in the flat after the shower incident and that she eventually felt forced to find another place to stay. Leah Michelle, I really, truly had a ghost in an old apartment that I lived in in New York, Michelle said on a little late with Lily Singh. The actress recalled hearing a burst from upstairs when she was on the bottom floor of the unit, only to go check it out and find it silent, with nothing out of place. She added, I'm like, it's all in my head, and just as I say that, the window flies open right in front of me. And also, weirdly, I would hear someone singing in the apartment. Megan Mullally. Mullally is convinced she and husband Nick Hofferman once shared a house with the spirit of Nicole Brown Simpson, who was murdered in 1994. It wasn't the same house, but it was on the same property where had once stood a house that O.J. Simpson had rented for Nicole Brown Simpson, Mullally said on Busy Tonight. We would have one corner of the house, like maybe where the bedroom used to be in the old house, we would have all these sounds and weird things all the time. I would be like, that's Nicole and she's angry because Nick doesn't get it. According to the Will and Grace star, the spirit's activity stopped after Offerman watched documentaries and the American Crime Story series that covered Brown Simpson's murder. Ever since then, no more sounds. She just needed Nick to understand what happened. Demi Lovato, my house in Texas is so ridiculously haunted, Lovato wrote in a 2013 BuzzFeed piece, not by a bad spirit, but a little girl. I think her name is Emily. I've had Emily. a medium come over in Ghost Hunters, and they both told me the same name, Emily. There were so many times that I saw her when I was growing up. I believe that everyone can tune into the part of their mind. I think I have a really strong connection to the afterlife, the singer continued. When I walk into a room, I can tell if something has happened there or not, or if a hotel is haunted. Gigi Hadid, I've had a lot of unexplainable experiences with the supernatural, the model said in a book video. When we were kids, we lived in this really old house, and I was given the attic as my room. We used to hear this weird sound in the closet, and then we asked my dad, and he said this old lady used to live in the house. We convinced ourselves, it was her, and we would talk to her. We would say to the ghost, we'll bring you some tea, she added. Jessica Alba, Alba told Sydney Morning Herald that she was attacked by a ghost while sleeping in her family's home when she was 17. I had no idea what it was. I felt this pressure and, I couldn't get up, I couldn't scream, I couldn't talk, I couldn't do anything, she said. Something definitely took the covers off me and I definitely couldn't get off the bed. And then, once I did, I screamed, ran to my parents' room and I don't think I spent many nights in the house ever again. There was definitely something in my parents' old house. I don't know what it was. I can't really explain it. But they got it blessed and they burned sage and stuff since then. Lucy Hale, I have a ghost in my house. The Katie Keene star told Hollywood Teen Sign in 2010, adding that her coffee maker once came on by itself at 1am. Doors close, not slam, but they close. And I have a motion sensor that lights up in my apartment, and I swear it lights up sometimes when there's nothing under it. And my dog barks a lot. I don't feel threatened, but it definitely freaks me out. Claudia Schiffer, former residents, seem to have trouble letting go of the Tudor mansion, the model and her family call home. We had a medium go around, and she told us that actually all the ghosts in the house are lovely. No one needs to be scared, she told Architectural Digest. We welcome all the ghosts. We hear creaking noises and strange things happen sometimes, like the music comes on. Alison Hannigan I have a ghost in my house. I saw him a couple of months ago, Hannigan once told the San Francisco Gate. I don't think he died there because there's a law in LA that when you buy a house, if somebody's died there they have to disclose that. And nobody did. So I don't know why he's there. But he's very friendly. My friend saw him first one night. She said, 
I don't mean to alarm you, but I just saw a man follow us out of the house. And I said, well, at least he's gentlemanly. He let us go first. Later that night, I saw this silhouette of a man standing in the bathroom doorway. I was what? like, honey, what are you doing? I thought it was. Now husband, Alexis, but then I looked and Alexis was asleep next to me. Jenna Bush Hager, the former first daughter heard her share of bumps in the night when she lived in the White House. I heard a ghost she shared on the Tonight Show. I was asleep. There was a fireplace in my room and all of a sudden I heard 1920s music coming out. I could feel it. I freaked out and ran into my sister's room. She was like, please go back to sleep. This is getting silly.